Marijuana and weed plants experience lush growth and foliage during the vegetative state. Using lights, you can set the veg phase by giving your plants 18 hours of light and you can choose when these plants flower and produce buds by dropping the light cycle down to 12 hours. Knowing when to switch your light cycle is crucial and always dependent on your setup. I use the height of my grow tent as a reference to when to flip and I always assume that the plant will double in size in its flowering phase. Let me break down the formula as simple as possible. You want to measure the distance from the top of the soil, which I have right here, all the way up to the top of your tent. Okay, so take a look. That is 64 inches from the top of the soil to the top of the tent. Now you want at least 10 inches of coverage for your light right here. So I'll subtract 10 inches from 64, which is gonna be 54. And then you're gonna take that number and divide it by two, which is gonna be 27 inches, all right? So basically, once your plant reaches 27 inches, that's your cue to start converting from vegetative phase lighting to bloom phase lighting. All it takes to switch the light cycle is dropping the hours of light from 18 hours to 12. I use a timer to get a minute by minute accuracy and after about two weeks, you could start transitioning in bloom nutrients and transitioning out vegetative nutrients. It's important to make sure that when the lights are off during the bloom phase, it is complete darkness. Any interruptions with light may cause them to stay in vegetative state or worse, turn them to hermaphrodites. That's all. For more tips and tricks, check out howweedgrow.com. Smoke weed every day.